Hi everyone, it's me Katrine and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be talking about the things I got from Bali and the souvenirs that you can get from there. So if you want to know about it, please keep on watching! For our first set of products, we got this at the grocery store. So the first product is this one, the mini hangers. This one costs 38,000 Indonesian rupiah or around $2.76. So it's very, very small that you can use for your undergarments like that. So yeah! So for our next products, these are the pens that we got. We got this because of the design. It's the batik one. So yeah, these ball pens cost 14,000 Indonesian rupiah or a dollar and two cents. So yeah. So another product that I got is this Pur Basari Lure Mandi Bengkuang plus whitening body scrub. So there. So it claims to have um, yam bean plus whitening bath body scrub. It is a combination of yam bean extract and whitening extract as double whitening agents for a fairer and healthier skin. The fine scrub gently removes impurities and dead skin cells, enriched with moisturizer to protect your skin's natural moisture. Lulur is a part of their spa, now in Bali, and it originated from the royal palaces of Java, Indonesia and was used by brides-to-be in a beautifying ritual shortly before their wedding. So, I got this because I was so roasted in Bali because we had snorkeling, we went to the beach, and then my skin got a bit darker. So, I purchased two tubs of this just to make sure that it will really affect on me because I know I won't be able to go back to Indonesia anytime soon so i bought two of these and it cost eighteen thousand indonesian rupiah or around a dollar and 81 cents it's very very cheap i've used it and i get fair skin in just few days because i use it every day my skin felt moisturized ever since then and then i used moisturizer after so yeah so this one is another kind of lulur, but this one it's like a lotion. It's like a moisturizer for your skin, not really a body scrub. Sekar Jagat Jagat Lulur Traditional in Milk. This tub retails for 10,000 Indonesian rupiah. So it's about less than a dollar. It's 0.73 dollars. So. so last thing I got from the grocery store it's the warda bb everyday beauty bomb cream water break technology oil control it has spf 30 and my shade is a natural it has 15 ml packaging is like this so yeah it's good for everyday use these retails for 39,000 indonesian rupiah or two dollars and 83 cents so here. So for the next set of products, we got this at Ubud Market because we stayed there for two nights for our first two days. Three days. So the first one is this sarong. Yeah, it's a big one. It, it is just one of the many designs that we got there. We bought around 15 sarongs or... But still less than 20 pieces of sarong. And it retails for... Da -da -da -da, 20,000 Indonesian rupiah or a dollar and 45 cents. So, you should bargain when it comes to sarongs because they really give a high price for this one. Let's just say the first price that they'll give you is 100,000 Indonesian rupiah. And then, if you go away, they'll give it to you 15,000 Indonesian rupiah down to 30 Indonesian rupiah and you should bargain to death to get this 20,000 Indonesian rupiah sarong. So I'll let you see other one. This one. Yeah, it's a big one. There. And then a green one. 
sarong. It has also the elephant. And it has also the elephant there. And we also got sarongs that has Bali on it, that has the name Bali on it. So for the next product, we got this. It's a polo there for my brother as a gift or as pasalubong. This one. It's a polo for my brother. It retails for 100,000 Indonesian rupiah or $7.26. So originally, the price of this one is 500,000 Indonesian rupiah. And you have, and you really have to bargain. I swear. I'll put another picture on the screen. Somewhere here or here. I also got this polo for Rickmar. So yeah, both of these polos cost 100,000 Indonesian rupiah, so bargain. So the next product that I got is these wooden spoon and fork. Yeah, I got three pairs of this and the other one is in my bag. So I got this for 20,000 Indonesian rupiah per pair. So it's just like a dollar and 45 cents too. Yeah, avoid plastic spoon and fork. Should get this. For our next product, it's one of my favorite product that I got in Bali and it's this owl decor it's for my room yeah there and it cost 200,000 Indonesian rupiah or $14.52 so yeah it's in my room I love this I really love this because it's an owl it's so cute so this one is a rattan bag. I didn't get the circle one because everyone has it. But I got this for 200,000 Indonesian rupiah or $14.52. Two. I got this not in Ubud market but at the at the stores near the monkey forest. So they also have lots of kiosks there that sells rattan bag. It's so good, it's so sturdy, and inside there's a lining of batik. So yeah, love it. So for the next set of products that I got is from Sukawati Art Market. So take note, there is Ubud Market if you're around Ubud. It's at the center of Ubud Market. But then, if you're at the south of Bali, you might want to go to Pasar Seni Sukawati or the Sukawati Art Market because it's where all the bargaining happens. It's like the divisoria of Bali. If you want to get a good price for everything, you should go there, okay? The first agenda is to get a ref magnet for friends to give away. So we got this ketchup. It's the ketchup uh, ref magnet. It comes in 10 pieces per pack. So this cost 45,000 Indonesian rupiah or $3.27. In Bali, there is such thing as Balinese price and a foreigner price. So I think Filipinos are known for bargaining and so we really have to Say, please give us this for a lower price and then yeah another ref magnet is this one we got this 10 pieces also and it's a, a lot cheaper than the ketchup one because it's very detailed this one's like has the um, some glitter slung and not so much wood carving but this one retails for a dollar and nine cents so yeah, if you're looking for Rev Magnet, yeah, because I know if you buy in the airport, if you haven't had a chance, you might get one of these is 50,000 Indonesian rupiah. So, you might as well go to Sukawati Art Market and get this and the ketchup one. So, for my next product is again a sling bag. But this one's not for me. It's for my friend Steph who asked me to buy a tan bag for her. 
So this retails for 200,000 Indonesian rupiah or $14.52. It's a white one, yeah, and when you open it, it has this one, this kind of lock, and then inside, and then inside is a purple batik that you can open, and it has a um, stopper here so that your things won't fall off. So yeah, so far my next product is another da -da! rattan bag oops it's inside so i got this for a hundred and fifty thousand indonesian rupiah and inside oh, i put a ribbon so that when i store it at my cabinet it won't go like this so inside it has like a bag attached to the bag so yeah it's a batik one so that your things aren't exposed, so you can put your things inside there. Good deal, right? So go to Sukawati Art Market. So for the next product is again this one. The wooden spoon and fork. Yeah. So lately I've been into eco-friendly stuff that I could use in my daily life to avoid straws, to avoid plastic spoon and fork when they eat outside. So in Sukawati Art Market, you can get this, I believe, five pairs of this for 25,000 Indonesian rupiah. So that is $1.82 for five pairs of spoon and fork. Compared to Ubud Market, you can get a pair of this for 20,000 Indonesian rupiah. So it's good for the environment. So for my next product is this cute shorts. Yes, so what I like about this, in the Philippines, we also have this kinds of shorts. But then, it's the garter is like this only. But here, what I like about this is the garter is here. So if it's on your waist, it will really hug your waist. And this one, and the other design is this one. So I got two. So each of these shorts retails for 20,000 Indonesian rupiah. Or a dollar and forty-five cents. So for my second to the last product is this Bali spoon. It's my mom's souvenir from Bali. So every time she goes out of the country, she makes sure that she's able to buy her souvenir. We got this at the airport because there's no Bali spoons like this at the Sukawati Art Market or Ubud Market or just along the streets in Bali. There's none of this. It's just 70,000 Indonesian rupiah or around $5.08 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, yeah. At the airport, you can buy this one. And for my last product and maybe the first thing that we bought in Bali is this Bali mug. It's a large mug. It's not the standard mug that we have here. It has Bali and some Balinese carrying some fruits, I guess. Yeah, and other things that they sell in Bali. Starbucks card that I got here. I'm thinking that usually when I go out of the country, I get this penny press that you put inside like a machine and then you twist. But then every time I go out, like let's say I went to Middle East, there's none of like that. I went to Bali, there's none of like that. And now that I went to Bali, I felt like Starbucks card can be my souvenir card or my souvenir from each country because for sure they have Starbucks there. This costs for 180,000 Indonesian rupiah. So it's about $13.08. So this is 180,000 and when you get a card, you just reload it for 100,000. I just added 80,000 to get this one. So I use this card. To get this one, I just added 80,000. And when you buy a mug, you get a complimentary drink. A tall drink of any coffee inside Starbucks. So, good deal. I was so happy with this one. So, yeah. A new souvenir for me. And last but not the least, I forgot. Almost forgot about this. is my ring. If you want to buy a silver, 
It's at Chaluk Village in... It's near Denpasar. It's a bit far from Ubud. But then, in Chaluk Village, there's a lot of stores, silver stores that you can get. Silver. It's a real silver. 92.5 grams. And you can bargain. You can still bargain. Originally, this price is 700,000 Indonesian rupiah, but we got this for 200,000 Indonesian rupiah or around $14.52. So, this is real, and we went to Artica Silver. Artica. Basta. Artica store there. So, if you wanna buy, if you wanna bargain for silver, Go there. So yeah, that's it for my Bali haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you some tips on where to buy your rattan bags, your sarongs, your silver, your Bali spoon, and ref magnets. Yeah, Sukawati Art Market is the number one. If you don't have any time to go there, you can go to Ubud Market, but then you just have to bargain. Half the price agad. Okay, half the price immediately. If you walk away, the run after you and give you a nice surprise so yeah that's it for my bali haul i hope you liked my video and i hope i gave you some tips like bargaining and where to go for shopping see you guys on my next video